okay guys so in order for you to install facebook pixels this is all you have to do so if you're using your mobile device you need to come over to chrome so once you come over to chrome you type meta ads manager you're typing meta ads manager so once you type meta ads manager you will see this interface personally i like using this first one so at this point i'll go ahead and click on the first one so once you click on the first one it will rotate like this and it will then bring you to an interface that looks like this now this is one thing you need to know about this platform it can take up to one minute two minutes to load but trust me you have to wait for it to get done loading now at this point it is done loading all you need to do is for you to look this space just look at this interface this particular place i have marked so far you look at it you see three horizontal lines you click on the three horizontal lines now once you click on the three horizontal lines it will bring you to this interface now once it brings you here you need to check very well you will see business settings business settings you click on the business settings so once you click on the business settings it will bring you to this interface now in case it brings you to an interface that looks like this this is the business portfolio and you do not have um, an account you need to create one so for you to create one is very simple you just need to look up here you need to look up here then you go ahead and click on create business now once you click on create business this is what you will see so let me zoom it so that we can all see it so here you need to put your name this is very very important so it says your business and account name this should match the public name of your business since it will be visible across facebook it contains special characters so here it is best to go ahead and put a good business name here so here is for your email your business email so any email that you know that is always active not email that it is more than 10 years 15 years you've not opened it you've not you don't have access to do not use that particular one so you go ahead and put that email here after putting the email you click on submit why i won't be doing this is because i personally have an account already you understand so i don't want to create a new one but trust me if you follow everything i am telling you now you won't have any challenge when trying to do this now once you you do this and click on summit they will send a code to you they will send a code to you that's why i told you that you must use an active email so at this point i will cancel it and come back to this interface so this is the one i will be using for this tutorial so i've gone ahead to click on it now once i once you click on it let's assume you have it you understand so once you click on it it will bring you to this um, interface once it brings you to this interface this is what you should look out for this particular one that has a big head and has um should i say hand leg and whatever you can see what i'm saying right so you click on it once you click on the icon this is what you will see now at this point this in case in case you do not have ads account in case you do not have ads accounts do not worry this is where you should click to create an ads account this is where you should click to create an ads account so that's just by the way so at this point you click on data sources click on data sources so if you click on data sources like right now it will load and now show you all of this so once it shows you this here we have data set and pixels data set and pixels you go ahead to click on data set and pixels once you click on data set and pixels it will bring you to this interface so wait for it to get done loading so this is the interface it has brought us now because i am using my phone this might not really be visible but if you look up here you will see ad you will see ad so you go ahead and click on this ad you go ahead and click on the ad once you click on the ad once you click on the ad you put a name probably your business name 
so i've gone ahead to write youtube so after writing this you go ahead and click on create you go ahead and click on create once you click on create it will rotate like this and it will tell you that you should go to event manager so here you click on go to event manager so once you go to event manager you click on your event manager that is what you're to do so your event manager would load like this let's wait for it to get done load so guys at this point this is what you have to do if you look up here you see this special number you see this number here this is the number that we need this is the number that we need so if you look up here you see a pen icon you click on it because we have to we have to copy this number we have to copy the number so once you click on the number you see this you go ahead and click on copy link address so you click on copy link address once you click on copy link address this is what you're to do this is what you are to do so at this point you minimize so remember we used chrome this time around we'll be using google so you come over here to google you come over here to google and type seller you come over here to google and type seller so we want to test if this thing is actually working so here you click on seller you click on seller once you click on seller so this is my seller here i'll go ahead and click on start selling with seller so i'll click on start selling with seller and it will automatically take me to my dashboard i have on um, four products already so at this point i will go ahead and click on these three horizontal lines at the top right hand side so once you click on it it will bring you to this um interface this is all you have to do you need to scroll down once you scroll down can you recall that same icon that same icon we saw on facebook so you come here to integrations so once you click on integrations it will show you all integrations facebook pixels google um tab manager and all of that so because we are working with facebook you go ahead and click on facebook pixel so once you click on facebook pixel this is what you have to do you understand so this particular interface is where you put the number this is where you put the number so here you go ahead you go ahead delete this one you delete this one and then paste this other one you understand so once you paste it you go ahead and click on update pixel you go ahead and click on update pixel once you click on update pixel like this this is what you see this is the interface you see now if it is successful let's check if it is successful if it is successful you see this particular code here you go ahead and click on the link once you click on it it will take you directly just check where it will take you to so this will make you know if it was successful or not so this is where it has brought us this is where it has brought us this is where it has brought us for us to know if it was successful or not so guys this is how to install facebook pixels on seller then you start running at to your seller directly so this video is above is above five minutes and i don't want it to be long so in my next video i will show you how to run at directly to your seller you understand without any stress thank you so much guys thank you for watching up to this point see you guys in my next video and bye for now